Good morning, Wildcats. Welcome to HBWN. I'm Jessica Squires. And I'm Sarah Gill. On today's show, we will feature Baptist Avenue, a film by Rami Tyler and Trenton Wheeler. We will also take a look at one student who is planning ahead early for her college journey. There is no time to waste. Today is December 1st, 2015, and you're watching Harbor Wildcat News. Our Harbor Television students recently made a trip to Drury University to compete in VidCon, the regional broadcasting competition. Our very own Trenton Wheeler and Ramey Tyler took one of their competitions by storm with their film Baptist Avenue. Let's take a look. Competition season has started for the Harbor Television program, and to kick things off, one of our very own went above and beyond in a recent regional competition. We went up to Springfield, Missouri for Drury VidCon uh, competition. And right when we got there, there was a competition called Midnight Madness, uh, where we had five hours to complete a short film. It had to be no less than two minutes. We decided to do a race, kind of like a horror game. The video itself was a group effort where normal groups consisted of five to six. This group consisted of 12. Probably the biggest trouble I faced while I did all the editing on it and just the uh, audio tracks that we had to use because we had to layer so much audio at the end of it and it uh, got really tight and everything and it was just a little confusing to work with but we were able to do it and get it done. Though it was a competition, it's also an experience where students can continue their education in the film and broadcast industry. I learned a lot about working under pressure and how to get the job done and get everything done within a certain time constraint. It was really stressful to try to you know, get everything shot and edited, but once we got it done, it was a really satisfying feeling. And now I know that, you know, if you work together with your group and you listen to people's ideas and everyone does their part, you can get things done way easier. Our congratulations to Trenton Wheeler, Alex Dalton, and Ramey Tyler in placing first at Drury University's Midnight Madness. For HBWN, I'm Jessica Squires. We're here with Trenton Wheeler, one of the main influences behind Baptist Avenue. Trenton, could you talk to us a little about the creation process? Well, we had to arrive at Drury around 6 p.m., and at 6, we got a prompt, and the prompt was 3, 2, 1, go, and we had to have an actor say, second place isn't bad. So basically, with that idea, we came up with the idea of a race, because whenever you think first place, second place, third place, that's usually the first thing that comes to mind. And so basically, whoever got first place, they got a reward, and whoever got second place, well, it wasn't bad. What were some of the challenges that you faced? Well, in part of our film, we used a church, and then halfway through our filming process, somebody went back to the church and locked it so we couldn't go back in. So we had to figure out a way to comp with that. And one of our group members, Tara, she had an idea to where we could use the locked door in our film. Congratulations, Trenton. We can't wait to see more from you in the future. But for right now, let's take a look at Baptist Avenue. Welcome back to class, students. Today we're going to learn about perseverance. I thought we might be able to do this with a race. Two of you could race to the church.
job, Mr. Lin. Are you ready for the reward? I never came in first place. Second place is not bad. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. For they are weak, but he is strong. If you'd like to see more films produced by students here at Harbor, Tune in next week as we feature Terry, a film by one of our past students, Andrew Lyle. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we will take a look at one of our students who is taking the initiative to make her dreams reality. Stay tuned. HBWN will be right back. 140,000 students claim that they are physically abused at school. 3.2 billion kids are bullied each day. 90% of students from 4th to 10th grade claim that they've been bullied. Only you can prevent bullying. Hi, Travis Sherman here with a fantastic new product. Are you tired of shaky shots? Footage that looks like the B-cam operator from Saving Private Ryan? Boy, do we have a product for you. Introducing this revolutionary new product, the tripod. The three keys to success are great talent, great work ethic, great hair, and tripods. Before I came to Drury University, my life was as shaky as my shots. But now, I'm stable. Discover your jury life with the tripod. Almost one out of every four students are bullied in school each year. But did you know that over half the situations stop if a student peer intervenes? It's time to join together and make a stand. And whether you're an athlete, in the band, or finding your own passion, stand up. Because together, we can make the difference. Many seniors are beginning to feel the stress of college and the financial struggle. But for one, that financial struggle has become a little less stressful with her very own business donating to the cause. Let's take a look. Many seniors are feeling the pressure of college and the burden of financing it. But one student here at Harbor High School has started her campaign for funding as a junior. Cookies for College is basically, it's, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is me literally baking cookies and selling them to earn money for college. And uh, me and my mom do it together, so it's a lot of fun and kind of a nice little creative outlet. The whole, the whole idea really came from one of my friend's moms. She asked me to make cookies for a Christmas party, and, and people really liked them. And so we just got good feedback, and so then that's kind of whenever word of mouth, and we started modifying the recipe and kind of made it our own. And yeah, it's just, it's been a lot of fun. It's been really, really fun. For Abby, the fundraising process has been a surprise, and the fact that the community is more than happy to reach out and support. One thing that I love about Cookies for College is I feel like it's it's really been cool to see how willing people are to um, to support uh, a teenager trying to earn money for college. You know, like I know I like hear people say all the time like they don't know how they're going to earn money for college, but like honestly, this really is all word of mouth. Like I don't I don't have an Instagram account. Like I have my Facebook and I have an album, but I don't advertise it. You know, it's just but like moms, families, they're really really willing to support people who you know are want to change the current state that they're in or just want to you know put in the hard work that, you know, college takes sometimes. As only a junior in high school, she has already made an impact in the Harbor High School community by inspiring students to follow in her footsteps. She's definitely inspired me to raise money for college. She does it in a really cool way that most students don't do, and so I think it's cool that she's kind of like started her own business. Most kids have to like have a job and spend time at their job. Um, so it's really cool that she can like do this out of her house and she's raising money for college in a different way than most students. Cookies for College, a small business with a big dream. And for Abby Jackson, hers is one of the top theatrical colleges in the nation. Well, I actually really want to go to Oklahoma City University, which is a private college, and it is, it's one of the best in uh, musical theater, and that's what I wanted to do as my career. And so it's, it's going to be expensive, and the tuition, it's out of state. On top of it, performing arts colleges are always just a little bit more expensive for some reason. And um, so, yeah, just kind of trying to put away some money for living expenses and, you know, just getting as much saved up as possible. You know, what scholarships won't cover, which hopefully I'll get scholarships, but what they won't cover, hopefully this will kind of help out. If you'd like to support Abby in her case, follow her on Twitter, look her up on Facebook, or simply reach out to her during school hours. 
And for all sophomores and juniors out there, don't forget, it's never too early to start saving up. For HBWN, I'm Sarah Gill. If you're interested in Cookies for College, be sure to reach out to Abby through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or just catch her in the hallway. That's all the time we have for this week. Tune in next week as we catch you up on all things Harbor and take a look at Terry, a film by Andrew Lyle. Don't forget to tune in to our sister station, WCSN. You can watch it on the Springdale Public Schools YouTube channel every Friday night before the game. For HBWN, I'm Sarah Gill. And I'm Jessica Squires. We'll see you next time.